show. Give it up for Jenny Haney. And welcome to the Magic Castle. Yeah. Isn't this great? Yeah. Good group, good group. Now, I've not, as, as you heard, my name is Denny, and I'll be introducing the acts tonight. And I'm sure when I walked out and saw me walk out, he said, Boy, he's been around a while. <laughs> and, and it's true, I'm 70 years old, been doing magic for 60 years. Woo. Boy, I'm tired. <laughs> But, but the thing is, you don't notice yourself getting older. You really don't, because it happens gradually. You wake up in the morning, you go in the bathroom, you brush your teeth, you shave, it just gradually, little by little, you get older. And then one morning, you look in the mirror and you go, Dad? <laughs> you know, you hit it, you say, and, and people hear about this and you start to get those calls from those cemetery lot people. <laughs> all the time. In fact, I always have them come over the house because I want to see what they're going to do for me. <laughs> this is my latest. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I said to the guy, I said, wow, that's terrific. What is that? He said, well, it's a, it's a, it's a hand-carved Austrian headpiece and two red velvet drapes and, and a German handmade casket. I said, boy, that's nice. How much? He said, $65,000. You know, oh, you've got to be out of your mind. He said, well, look, I'll work with you. I'll get rid of the Austrian headpiece, and we'll only have the red velvet drapes and the German casket. How about that? I said, good, good. How much? He said, $35,000. I said, no, 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 you're, you're way out of line. He said, well, Denny, look, I'll work with you. We'll get rid of the red velvet drapes. <laughs> I said, how much? He said, $25,000. I said, you don't understand. I don't have that kind of money. And he said, well, Denny, what do you do for a living? I said, well, I'm a magician. <laughs> he said, oh, I think I got something that'll suit you just <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's good stuff. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> so if some years from now you see one of these on the street, don't kick it, I might be in. <laughs> You know, when they called me and said, Denny, why don't you come out and see the show? And they asked me, they said, can you do some of the classics in magic? The, the classics, or as young magicians call them today, uh, tricks that I think suck now, but I'll appreciate when I get older. <laughs> I said, well, sure, sure. I'd like to do one for you now. Now, it's right <coughs> small. And because it's small, it's a little tough for some of you in the back to see. To see. So uh, I need some representation from the audience. I need two people from the audience who can watch and pay attention to details. Now, the ones who watch the closest are the young ladies. Yes. Hi, Darlene, right over here. Thank you. Get real close. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can do that because I'm old. <laughs> See, this has to do with sewing. Bianca, can you do any sewing? Sure. <laughs> okay. Well, I have two pieces of material. They're placed together and sewn along three sides. You know what that means? A triangle. <laughs> 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 I do not want to make a <laughs> it's okay, the questions get easier as we go along. I'm going to show you the bag. You see the little bag or a pocket. It's sewn as a two pieces of material placed together, sewn along the bottom, up two sides, from this little bag or a pocket. Now the inside is stitched the same way as the outside. So Darlene, reach in there, pull it inside out, and look at the stitching on the inside. See, that makes it the other side of the bag, so that way it's two sides, because if it only had one side, it would be put in. <laughs> now, why did you get there? Darby, did you notice anything before? Okay, Bianca, would you grab the bag right there? Uh -huh. <laughs> now, Darlene, grab the bag there. Now, Bianca. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Bianca. <laughs> Bianca, you lean over and take a peek inside the bag. Get real close. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't do that again. Maybe. Now, Bianca, you hold real tight. And Darlene, you let go. Today. <laughs> and somehow you missed that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is no big deal. <laughs> 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 See, that is it. 
to you, there's nothing. But to a chicken. <laughs> I'm sure that the first thing going through your mind is that that, that egg must be a rubber egg. They would have found the rubber egg. Would you, would you squeeze that gently, though, it's fresh here? Okay? And the see, it's a real egg. Now, we're going to do the same trick, but we're going to do it backwards. We're not going to turn around, but we're going to make the egg. <laughs> understand where we're at, Darlene, where's the egg? Good. Bianca, where's the bag? Right there. Good. good. <laughs> Darlene, where's the egg? And my hand is going into the bag, I place it on my palm. You give it a little tap, make sure it's there. <laughs> do, do, do it again. Watch this real close. Now, Darlene, reach that in there again, pull it inside out. That's good. Now, somehow you look at the inside, you look at the outside, you turn that bag inside out, outside in. But you still miss the important point in this trick, and that's that in. this in the back. While I was doing that, a young lady leaned over and she said to her husband, she said, he went up his sleeve. <laughs> now I knew that was her husband because he didn't pay any attention to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you that it does not go to sleep. Bianca with the left hand grab the bag. With the other hand grab my wrist, hold it tightly so that nothing can get by the wrist or go up the sleeve. <laughs> Good grip. With your left hand grab my other wrist. I dropped the egg in the bag. You see it? Yeah. Okay, good, darling. Now my hand is going back into the bag to place the egg back on my palm with you and I, and I'm attached to the hand together. I take your free hand that's on the end of that off here and attach it. Ah! 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 Don't let go even after this is over. Keep holding it. Uh -oh. And one last time, pull it inside out, darling. Hold the wrist. Get the left hand, grab the bag right there. Darlene, right over there. Bianca, lean over, take one last piece oh. inside. We'll hold it up right about here. Hold the bag very tightly, but let go of the wrist. You let go of the bag, but hold the wrist. We're going in for the <laughs> 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 you're walking away a bit confused. I kind of like the way you came up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint as to how this is done. If I were to place the egg in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to reach into the bag and pull out an egg, what would that mean? Two eggs. Two eggs. See, everyone suspects that. So I wouldn't do that. But I leave the egg there. I'll show you the bag one more time. And you two are so nice. I do appreciate you putting up with all of this nonsense up here. I'd uh, like to propose a little toast.